Hey, pedal guy, how do you set up the MX-5 as an audio interface? Well, stay tuned, because the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to do it. Hey, everybody, it's Scott at the Pedal Guy. How you doing? Well, we're all about pedal demos, pedal knowledge, and pedal sales. I love pedals, and so do you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Headrush MX-5 as a USB audio interface. But before we get to it, if this is your first visit to my channel, take a second, click on that subscribe button down there, give me a thumbs up, help my video rank in the YouTube algorithm so I can make more content for you. Well, this is a commonly asked question I see on Facebook groups all the time. How do I record my Headrush MX-5 onto my computer? And if you're brand new to recording at home, nothing to worry about, guys. The pedal guy has got your back. I'm gonna answer all your questions in this video, and I've got a follow-up one that you're gonna to wanna to check out very soon. So let's first talk about hardware. You're only gonna need two things to make this work. The Headrush MX-5 and your computer. That's it. You don't need any additional hardware besides that. Well, maybe except for your guitar. The next thing you're gonna need is a digital audio workstation, or DAW for short. And this is the recording software that you'll install on your computer and record the Headrush MX-5 into a computer. At which point you can then embellish it with loops, with effects, EQs, all that fun stuff that makes working in a studio environment all the more fun. And the great news here is that there are so many solutions out there. I'm gonna be using a program called Reaper, uh, but you can also use GarageBand if you're on the Mac, you can use Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, uh, Ableton, uh, Reason. I mean, there's a whole bunch of them out there to choose from. You just have to select the one that's best suited for you. That's basically it. Let's get to the demo. Assuming you've installed your Windows driver, you're now ready to proceed to the next step, which involves going to the global settings window. So let's go to that upper right corner and let's go to global settings. And this will bring up the global settings window. And we're gonna be concentrating up here in the upper right corner under USB audio settings on the first page. So first thing we wanna do is we want to set a sampling rate. Now you have a choice between 44.1 all the way up to 96. Do keep in mind that with a higher sampling rate, you'll use up more of your CPU and your hard drive. So I'm gonna keep it on 44.1 for this example. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on USB audio. And when I do this, you're gonna get a message saying that it's connecting the USB device. There you go, connecting USB audio. And at this point now, you can see that the 44.1 kilohertz setting is now offline. That's because I haven't booted up my DAW yet. And once I do and I set it up as an interface, that will turn green. Now, you have three modes here that you can choose from, live, DAW, and reamp. For this video, we're gonna be concentrating on live and DAW, and then in a follow-up video, I'll be concentrating on reamp. When you're in live mode, you'll simultaneously hear the audio that's coming from the MX-5, as well as anything that's coming through the DAW. When you're in DAW mode, the only thing you'll hear will be coming back from the DAW itself. So you won't hear the real-time audio coming from the MX-5. Rather, you'll hear it being processed from the computer out to the MX-5, which can create latency or the delay between playing a note and hearing a note. Okay, we've got our DAW loaded up, and what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna go ahead and create a track. Now, this is pretty much the same no matter what uh, DAW you're working with, whether it's Reaper or Pro Tools or GarageBand, the methodology is about the same. You wanna go to the track list and just create a track. At this point now, what you wanna do is what's called ARM for recording. Once you do that, I can play on my guitar here. And hopefully you're hearing two kind of obvious problems. One is that this is a stereo rig and this doesn't sound really good. So what we wanna do first is make sure that we're recording a stereo track here. To do that, I'm gonna to go to the input, input stereo and make sure that I'm selecting inputs one and two simultaneously so I get a full stereo field which sounds a lot better, but you're probably also hearing that other problem, which is that delay. And what you're hearing, what is called, what you're hearing now is called latency. And that's the delay between playing a note and hearing a note. So we're in live mode on the MX-5. So what you're hearing is the live sound from the MX-5. And you're also hearing what's coming back through the computer. And that creates kind of a slapback. So sometimes that can work, but a lot of times it'll throw you off. So if you want to play something with, you know, rhythm, like something with a signal note, it'll just kind of throw you off a bit. So the way to get around that 
is to go to the record monitoring and make sure that it's turned off. And once it is, now you're good to go. Okay, so here's what we had before. Here's what we have now. Much better. At this point, if we want to start recording, just go ahead and hit that record button. And here we go. Now you want to make sure, of course, that you don't cut off the, uh, the tail end of the reverb like I just did. But if we play this back, let's go ahead and disarm the track and then play it back. That's pretty much how you make your first recording. So be sure to save at this point as well. Now, what we've done at this point is we have discussed working with uh, live mode on the MX-5. So if we switch to DAW mode on the MX-5, now you can hear it coming through my microphone and you can also see signals coming out here as well on Reaper, but you can't hear anything and that's because the record monitoring is turned off. So if we turn it back on, you're, you can play the audio through there. However, here's the thing. You don't necessarily want to record like this because that latency problem, you could probably hear it between the microphone and the recording. It's not quite there. So when you're in live, when you're in live mode, that's the way you want to record your tracks into your DAW. When you're in DAW mode on the MX-5, this is where you would have your tracks already recorded at this point. Um, so that you can then start manipulating it with real-time effects and EQs through your DAW. So just keep it in mind, that's the difference really between those two. Well, that concludes this video. I hope you found it helpful. Now, be sure to subscribe to my channel because you're definitely gonna wanna check out the follow-up video, which is gonna cover reamping. See you soon. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com, where I love pedals and so do you.